All right, in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to set up a virtual environment in Python. This is going to be the recommended method for, uh, you know, installing multiple instances of a software. For instance, you may, in very rare occasion, find that you need different versions of a module or software, say NumPy or SciPy, uh, than what's installed by default in the default environment. Or otherwise, you may find that you don't have per the correct permissions to install new modules into uh, into your environment, and this is a case on, on Shamu, so we're going to need some additional modules that aren't currently installed, and um, I could have them installed globally, but I thought this would be a nice, uh, instructive way to, to talk about how you'd go about doing this uh, on your own. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're going to use uh, something called a virtual environment in Python, and there's actually a really nice installation. Uh, package for this that you can get by downloading it at this link. So if we just copy that link, then uh, <clears throat> I'll just show you. If we just copy that link, though, link over into the uh, terminal, uh, then we download it. You'll see that it, it went ahead and downloaded in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the directory there. There's a file called virtualenvironment.python. So then we can, we can go ahead and run that, and it's in the instructions here. but Basically, you go ahead and run that file, and then the argument to that file is the location where you want to install this virtual environment. So <clears throat> if we go back over and we run Python uh, on this file, and then we give it a path to the environment. So I want to install this into a folder in my projects directory called uh, python 2.7 uh, underscore special. Okay. So this is going to be the environment where we're going to install this. Uh, if we go ahead and run that, you'll see uh, it's going to print out some mes messages, the last one of which it uh, tells you there that it installs pip. So if we install, uh, well, uh, it installs the, the, the pip, which is the Python package indexer, and which it was, is the software that's going to allow us to install uh, our, our different versions of NumPy, SciPy, whatever. So uh, just to uh, show you what, what just happened. If, if I just type which Python, uh, it's going to still point to the Python that was installed previously, uh, which is in this Python directory. However, if, if uh, I want to point that, uh, when I run Python, I want it to run my, you know, my special one, then I need to basically add this location to my path. So you can uh, put this in your bash RC or bash profile. Um, I'm just going to put it right here where I want to add the path projects uh, python 2.7 special uh, bin. I want to add that to the front of my path. And now if I type which python, you can see that now it's pointing to the python that we just installed. So uh, from there, we can move on to talk about pip, the package uh, index. So. Uh, this is the software we're going to use to install basically uh, anything else we need to install. So it's really easy to use. It's already installed, and if and if we're pointing uh, to the correct Python in our path, uh, pip is also in that same directory. So um, all, all we have to do is just type pip install, say numpy, scipy, or whatever. So we're going to say uh, pip install. NumPy. And uh, it'll take a while to, uh, NumPy is one of the bigger packages, but it'll take a while to download it, go ahead and uh, install it, and we could do the same thing for SciPy and, and uh, Matplotlib and uh, Newplot.py or uh, IPython. These are all modules that we'll be using in this class. So. Uh, that's basically all you need to know to install a, a Python virtual environment and get started in installing your own software. So we won't wait for this to finish building, uh, but uh, that's all you need to know.